able to explain it first? How exactly does it work? That's a good question. <laughs> what makes the wheel turn? It's a mix of a lot of good stuff. It's a mix of evolutionary psychology, uh, human biology, processes that lets the individual come to the table, that involves the individual, the processes that helps you think, that in, engage you emotionally, and a lot of this stuff. And, and we know all that from experience, because people will come to the table, hey, this is just like that, or this is just like that, or this is just like that. It seems like what makes it work is really it combines an incredibly lot many good stuff that all come and summarized in something like human biology. You, for example, like there's, a, yeah, there's a whole set of theories you could point to. Um, there's like there's the flow theory, you know, from Jackson High about the emotional state in which we learn best and maximize our learning where our brain wants to go. So the flow plays a big role. There is stuff like how the brain works, what we both you can say from a perspective of neuroscience, but constructionism, the connection between our hands and our brains. Even as I'm talking, I can't help doing like this, and Robert there is building. So how our brain is connected with our hands, how we pay attention and form attention and what it does to our memory. So there's a play, what play does to the brain, how it makes the brain more flexible actually, how is our natural state for learning, how it's a way for us to share and make sense of things. So it's a whole, it's a whole set of theories, not one, but lots of different pillars or domains feeding into it. And in the theory, in practical, you know, the most effective learners that we have in this world are children. They know how to learn, they know how to maximize their learning. Many of the, the same things apply to this process. You know. Children, they know how to maximize the learning. It simply maximizes learning in a very enjoyable way. <laughs>